G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and I wanted to do this impromptu video because I'm running out of time to show you this Barbados cherry tree. Now, there's a bit of a story behind it. The fruit is just about ready to fall off the tree, in fact some of them have, and I wanted to do a taste test and uh, let you guys know what I think of it. First of all, here's the tree here. Now it used to be a heck of a lot bigger, but unfortunately this tree got a borer and it uh, just about killed the whole tree off. You can see I've cut it here. This tree used to be boy, a good head height, six foot or so, and probably three or four meters wide. We used to get a ton of fruit off it. It was a fantastic tree. We really loved the fruit. It pained me when uh, I saw it die in front of my eyes. To my astonishment, it reshooted and it's fighting back hard. And now I've got this mini Barbados cherry, or another name for it is the Acerola, or the West Indian cherry, and there's a few other names as well. It forms this really cool cherry. You can eat them when they turn bright red, but you can see here they've gone really dark, like a dark, genuine cherry. Hear those birds go over? The birds don't tend to eat these as much as, well, I expected they would. You can see the odd magpie, uh, the odd parrot grab hold of them, but generally they don't, they don't bother, and uh, I think that's great. Fruit fly in this part of the world will sting them occasionally, but you, you don't see larvae uh, develop in them, or the maggot develop in them. And I think that's good too. Um, I think they're just a little bit too acidic, a bit like a cherry tomato, a bit too acidic for the maggot to survive or hatch out. So let's go ahead and have a taste of the Barbados cherry. Mm. It's juicy and they typically have three small seeds, not just one seed, just three small seeds. It does have an acidic tang to it, um, but it's delicious. I'm trying to put them all in my mouth and then just spit all the seeds out. How gross was that? Oh God, that tastes good. And that, apparently, it's got something like a hundred times the vitamin C in a Barbados cherry than, say, a standard citrus, like an orange or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but that's what I've read. And, uh, Apart from that, it's got a whole heap of other antioxidants, making it a superfood. I mean, let's see if I can get a nice shot of it. Oh, the sun's setting here, so the sun's a bit harsh. Isn't it lovely? That's a smaller one, but they're, they're generally about the size of this one here. So just smaller than probably a, a, a standard cherry. I can't tell you exactly what they taste like. A little bit of grape flavor mixed with a citrus type of undertone and plum. Look at my dog. My dogs eat the seeds, even he loves them. What are you doing, Scoots? You eating them? You want one? Good for you. Good boy. There you go. See? And there's proof, something I've been saying all along. Dogs love Barbados cherries. And now you can hear them in the neighborhood, all the dogs are starting to bark. That's because they're jealous that he got one and they didn't. It's very ornamental looking. It, it's a good hedging plant if you want to grow several in a row. It's quite hardy, obviously susceptible to borers. But as far as other insects go, nothing really hits it really that bad so it's a perfect substitute especially in a hot climate where you can't grow regular cherries because you don't have the chill factor in warmer climates this is a perfect cherry substitute thanks a lot for watching don't forget to give a thumbs up bye for now mm.